Hi, welcome to what's going to be the last episode in this TMUX series. In this episode, I'm going to go over using TMUX within Terminal App. Now, I still do use a GUI-based console tool like Terminal App. Uh, it could be different for your POSIX compatible operating system, but I do use multiple tabs and TMUX within those tabs. So let me jump into the episode and demonstrate. All right, first I'm going to mention that this uh, resolution I have is a little higher than the previous episodes in the series. And this because this is going to be more of a higher level uh, display. And uh, I wanted to get more into the, um, to the screencast. So wanted to mention that now let me so this is how things look for me yeah, when I'm actually working I do run terminal app so this is uh, what I'm running on OS X and I do run in full screen mode here uh, when I'm uh, working within terminal app and, and tmux so this is like my main kind of way I develop code and this is typical of the amount of windows I have I have two client projects open right now I have three uh, two open source projects right here and here uh, this is the minimal site right there and the uh, the blog articles okay let's take a look at the terminal app preferences so I run the pro uh, theme within terminal app. I find that's a very nice one. Recommend it to you, of course. And I guess everything that I do, I would recommend to other people because I have reasons for why I selected them. I, I find myself saying that a lot, but uh, it kind of does make sense in some ways because, of course, I would uh, recommend to other people the things I do because I do them. But anyway, um, to I use Mon here's my font Monaco 18 point now it, it looks a little bigger here because I typically run at the resolution of uh, 2560 by 1440 so I find that's been a very nice resolution for me now another thing I want to bring up is this is uh, pretty important because I'm using the meta key for changing the window panes. So this use option as a meta key here is something that you do want to uh, check in Terminal App because let me open up tmox.com file. Down here I'm using the meta key that's the M right here that's the meta key so as the option key I use that to resize panes now there's th there's three to def uh, five defaults too for resizing that tmux comes with so definitely want to have that meta key option checked in terminal app okay so let me go back to my workflow now again what I'll do is have these tabbed windows open and each one will have a, a tmux session now I showed the, the starter templates so here I'm in an open source project let me open up a starter template this is what I do nothing's open yet uh, for this this project and I'll just use my regular tmux go starter template and just get those starter windows open and what I'll do in terminal app to switch windows you hit command shift and br um, uh, curly bracket so this is gonna be curly bracket left curly bracket command shift curly br bracket right and I'll run through I have these memorized so I'm not looking at my keyboard now and I'll go through the tabs as so now to name a tab here I have two tabs that are unnamed. I hit Command I, and then I get this little modal box here. Let me bring it to the center, and I'm going to name this 
linked more client and just hit the escape key and then it'll save the name to the tab there. Now, when I'm working in the last episode, I went over copy mode and copying to the system clipboard. That is copying to the system clipboard is where this kind of workflow is really vital because I will do that kind of thing all the time. Uh, for example, I will regularly have many, many Vims open. I can even have many different instances of Vim open in a single workspace. Like for example, in this third window here, I might have Vim open as well. Uh, so that would apply uh, to that scenario also. But I got two versions of Vim and two different projects here. And, and a lot of times I'm gonna wanna share the code because Maybe I'm looking at some sample code or some test code and I need to bring it over to another project. So what I just uh, do all the time is I'll turn off the line numbering there. I have a leader command to do that. I'll go into copy mode, hit the V key there, uh, make my selection, hit Y to yank it out. I'll go over uh, to the other project. So I just switch tabs there and do my leader paste command that I also showed in that uh, last episode in copy mode. Let me uh, just undo that right there. And I should clarify too, not two different versions of Vim, but just two standalone running copies of Vim. And, and to further explain the why I turned the line numbering off is because when you go to oops when you go to copy mode in Tmux you're going to copy those line numbers so uh, that further explains that it's also worth mentioning that I will add additional windows uh, pretty regularly. Now, I, I'm in a client project here where I added a, an external window here at number nine. And this this is happens to be my Tmux Go Rail starter template. And here I have five windows open, just doing some system server stuff. Now, ideally, this would be done with something like Foreman, but a lot of times you can't, or the project just hasn't implemented that, and, and I'm not going to be uh, adding that to the project if, if the client doesn't want that. So you know, Tmux is fantastic for that sort of thing, splitting a window up into uh, five different panes and, and running services. And lastly, let me get back to the uh, running in full screen mode. So in OSX, we have a concept of workspaces and that's in, I think it was introduced in, in 10.7 Lion. And so again, I've enabled that uh, that's pretty important because that's going to help you to stay focused, which is what this whole series is about, is increasing your productivity. So you got the whole, the, the whole full screen completely covered. Uh, you can't see anything on the sides or the corners, and you're just focused on your work environment, which is multiple um, tabs and multiple instances of Tmux running. Now, I also will run... Uh, the browser too. So here I'm. I have two. Uh, I have my F7 and F8 key mapped, so I can go left or right into workspaces. This gets me here. Now I'm showing um, the uh, screen flow, which is uh, one of the workspaces, and now I'm back to my terminal app. I'm going right again. This is uh, a canary. Uh, version of Chrome and so this is another thing that can really help you increase your uh, productivity is is utilizing workspaces and I know that uh, later versions of Linux also have this so that's the last thing I wanted to note well that's gonna wrap it up for this entire series it ended up spanning nine parts and it was a great privilege to be able to teach uh, top this topic Tmux. I've been studying it for a while using multiplexers for a while. I use screen and I still use screen actually to do server admin because it's installed a lot of times already on the server and I'm only doing like a 
need a couple windows open when I'm doing system admin. But anyway, been studying the topic for a long time, so it was great to be able to uh, teach and just show how I work. I enjoy watching other developers work as well, and I think especially this episode shows um, how I use Terminal App and Workspaces in addition to Tmux to uh, get work done and to what I think work efficiently. So uh, I hope that also helps you. And I hope the whole series really and help, helps you uh, to increase your developer productivity. Thanks for watching.